downtime at high temperatures, no problem in the new Actros. Thanks to the auxiliary air conditioning, an independent air conditioning is maintained during breaks or at rest periods at a comfortable cabin temperature and the air flowing into the cabin is dehumidified. But how does it really work? The auxiliary air conditioning system essentially consists of two components, the cooling system in the cab and the externally mounted cold reservoir with the solenoid valve and the circulation pump for the coolant. Without power, the solenoid valve allows the flow of R134A refrigerant into the evaporator of the conventional air conditioner. The refrigerant flows through the two separate lines to the cold reservoir of the auxiliary air conditioning and back to the conventional air conditioning. The coolant circuit is completely separate from the refrigerant circuit. An expansion valve is mounted at the cold reservoir. This injects the liquid refrigerant into the tubes of the reservoir. This check valve separates the refrigerant return of the auxiliary air conditioning system from the conventional air conditioning. And when there's no power, this solenoid valve closes the flow of refrigerant in the cold reservoir. The temperature sensor is here, by the way. And this is the coolant pump. Of course, there's also a service connection to fill and empty the coolant. The cold reservoir is made up of several layers of graphite. Between these layers are cooling loops for loading and water glycol loops for unloading. The cooling system is mounted on the rear cab wall with the heat exchanger, the fan motor, the control unit air conditioning, three vents and two air intake nozzles. The auxiliary air conditioning system in the new Actros. Thanks to this, you always keep a cool head, even on hot days.